Hi, thank you for joining me for this review of this Hawkeye Firefly Fortress micro FPV camera that also comes with a VTX transmitter. It comes packaged like this. If I open this box here, you get a little instruction manual, but you can also get an instruction manual online and I'll put a link in the description for that and if we have a look here this is the Fortress Micro FPV cam so very small and lightweight the camera itself only weighs 8 grams and the VTX over here only weighs 2 grams so combined 10 grams nice size this is 19 millimeter by 22 by 22 and should fit most micro drones quite easily got the screws on the either side here we look at the back here We've got our input sockets and this is also designed so you can use the camera only without the VTX. And these two screws on the holes on the back here is you can to attach the VTX on the back to use it as an AIO camera. And this is easily transferable from one drone to another. So here are the specs. Please pause if you would like to see the details. But I'm going to cover the main features now anyway. So it has a protective cover for the lens on here too, which is good. And this has a 2.1 millimeter M8 960 TVL lens. And this supports 1S to 6S batteries. So input voltage of 5 up to 36 volts. It's also changeable from a 4 as to 3 to a 16 as to 9 aspect ratio. And the OSD also has voltage display and a low battery alarm. Compatible with NTSC and PAL. And 6 modes and many value settings that can be adjusted which I'll demonstrate to you later. And we also get this board that to change settings. We get this bag with connection cables and also this plate for the back. But I don't see any screws in here. So this is the micro camera. Let's have a look at the VTX. So this also comes with a little manual. But in the link that I put in the description, you'll also be able to see the details for this VTX. And this tiny VTX is a 0.25 or a 50 or a 200 milliwatt, whichever you set it to work on. And here's a picture of the detailed specs for this too. So pause if you'd like to have a closer look at the details. And this comes with 48 or 72 channels. If you uh, remove the band resistor, and also has pit mode. Comes with this MMCX antenna. It just clicks and pops into here. We've got a digital display, which is good. And here's the button to change bands and frequencies using either a short press or a long press. And this is the cable that comes with it. 
uh, this plugs into the VTX here and this plugs into the camera and then we have a positive and negative for the power that we need to put a connector onto to connect to your power source now I'm just going to connect it up uh, to an OSD display and I'll go through some of the OSD features and settings with you and sorry there are screws that do come with this uh, in the bag here and we get one two three four five screws that come with this that you can use to attach to a micro quad and also to attach this VTX onto the back of the camera here okay so I've got this all connected up now so we've got this menu board plugged in over here we've got the VTX plugged into the camera here too I'm using a two cell battery so by default this comes with a setting for two to six but if you want to use one cell you need to desolder and resolder on the back of the camera board as you can see in this diagram here and now I've got it connected up and got FPV on the screen here so now if I press enter here the menu comes up uh, if I press enter FPV setup We've got time on or off, press, sorry, go back up again, press power, we can have power on or off, position, there's one, two, three, four positions that can be changed, scale mark, choose on or off, go here and press return again, we look at exposure and press enter, You could change the value, exposure value, metering, let's return and choose day or night, so choose colour or black and white, leave it on colour, press return, so down and enter for return, image setup, yeah we can choose colour gain, mirror, gamma, sharpness AWB AGC uh, return sorry let me just press return here again function setup here you can choose NTSC or PAL here this is where we can change from a 16 as to 9 to a 4 as to 3 ratio I'm going to leave it on 16 as to 9 select language here and press return then we choose factory settings restore and then one can save and exit here and then to change modes you need to press down and hold the left button here we see cloudy indoor light tracks and nothing twilight personal sunny so we can change that like that uh, I'm going to just put it on to personal and leave it on to personal and then to change power modes press down and hold the right button here and we can see power reference in the bottom and you can change the voltage by pressing up or pressing down here so I'm going to leave it at 7.2 and press enter oops now we've gone into the main menu go down to save and exit and enter 
a yes and enter so now you see it's 7.2 is too low so we go press and hold here for power again go back up and go to 7.4 and go enter that's it and then if we press power again here and press the left button we can set the power alarm and go up and down I'm going to set the power alarm at 6.6 6 volts and press enter and then we just save and exit and those are the mode and power settings too and then here we press the button just a short press changes the channels a two second press changes the bands and we've got three lights over here so the first light is 0 0.25 milliwatts this is currently on 50 milliwatts and the third lights for 200 milliwatts and to change the power long press for 10 seconds here 1001 1002 1003 1004 1005 1006 well in about five to six seconds it changed and now we can see it is on 200 milliwatts now the only thing with this is that if you put the VTX on the back, it covers the connections at the back here, which could be a good thing to hold in position. But if you put it the other way around, where you can have access to that, then the camera is inverted. And unfortunately, there's no setting to change or invert the camera. So I would have preferably liked it if... I could have put the VTX the other way around so that I can still access this because that basically means now if I want to use the menu board that I've got to leave this cable plugged in so I don't have to remove that to do that. So now I'm going to put it onto this SJRC F11 quadcopter that I want to do a range test with too so we'll see what range we can get and also what the video quality will be like okay I've got the Hawkeye Fortress micro FPV camera crudely set up on top of this SJRC F11 running with a two cell battery uh, now Let's go and see what range we can get with this and also what the video is like. And I've got FPV on the DVR monitor here. Okay, all ready to go. Going to start motors. Press take off. There we go. Got a good picture on the screen. Okay, just going to do a pan for video while I'm here. Video looks good, the camera operating well. And let's take it forward. The camera looking good. A bit of a glitch there, otherwise it's all going very well. Nice and reliable. Put up the brake up there. Okay, 
Coming in to land. So, please subscribe, like, comment and share if you like my videos.